it's me Anirudh and, uh, and I will be teaching you um, some more addition skills today. So as in my previous video I taught you guys uh, how to do single digit addition and double digit addition. Now we are going to triple digit addition and four digit addition. Okay, so when we have four digit addition you uh, make, well triple digit let's start off with three digit. When you have three digit addition you, uh, you want to first line up your numbers properly. Sometimes people just do it in the wrong places and it gets all messy. So try not doing that and organize yourself. So suppose we have a number one, one, two, and we add uh, um, we add another triple digit number like three hundred twenty one. Okay. As you guys see here, I lined up all my numbers properly so that they're organized. So now it will be a lot easier for me when I do my addition. So, uh, like, almost like um, a, a, a double digit addition, you don't really need your fingers for this. Unless you're a person who struggles a lot with addition, you don't need to. But what I do, uh, I, uh, it's like standard, you don't use your fingers. So, you start off at your ones place and uh, with your ones column, add it up. So, two plus one. Two plus one is, exactly, it's three. So, you have three here. Three. Now, we don't have any number that's above ten. So, if we have an, uh, any number above ten, you still add the ones uh, here, but you add the ten uh, here at the top. But we don't have that, so we don't have to worry. Now you move on to your tens column. So at your tens column, you add one plus two. One plus two is obviously three. So three. Once again, we don't have any number that's above ten, so we don't have to worry about it. Now we go to the hundreds place. One plus three. One plus three is four. So with four, so you add your four here. Four. Okay, clear. So you don't have uh, basically 433 is your answer. Pretty simple. But if you had another end question, uh, let's suppose something. Okay, 390. One second. 397. Okay, we have something like three 112 plus 397. When you come into a situation like this, things slightly change up here. When you, uh, now, you start at, at your ones place. As usual, you add it up. So, 2 plus 7, it's 9. It's close to 10, but it's not over 10. Or, it's not 10. So, we don't have to worry. So, 2 plus 7 is 9. We add our 9. Now, we go into our tens place. So, 1 plus 9 is 10. Here's when things slightly change up. You still add your 1s, so it's 10. So, you add your zero since it's the 1s digit of 10. Now, with your uh, 1 in 10, you add it up at the 100. Now, this 1 here, this 1, now becomes 100. Seems crazy, right? It's 100 now. Because when you carry forward, the digit becomes different. Now we have a hundred, which same thing. If we if there were zeros here, it doesn't really matter. So we add one plus one, which is two, and then we add two plus three. I'm saying it again. One plus one. So add the carry forwarding number to your uh, top number. Okay, so 1 plus 1 is 2, and with 2, add it to the bottom number. No, this is 3, your bottom number. So, two, um, 1 plus 1 equals 2, 2 plus 3 equals 5. So, voila, that's your answer. 509 is your answer for triple digit addition. For and this question, in triple digit addition. Seems pretty easy too, right? Like if you if you really think about it, there's nothing really to it. So uh, let's move on to our next topic. 
Okay, our next topic, four-digit addition. So we have 1,092. We have 1,092 here. When we have 1,092, our bottom number is going to be 3,611. Okay, so uh, we have uh, our um, uh, addition sum here, and we line our digits up closely and well. So now we can continue with our process. So add up the ones. So one, two plus one is three. And now add up our tens. So wait, we have ten. So what are we gonna do? What we're gonna do now is like triple a digit addition. And double digit addition, we're gonna add the ones here, stay, and then we carry forward our one here. But it's not always gonna be uh, that uh, well, 10 in some cases. What if it's something like um, uh, 8? I mean, no, 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 like um, let's say 11. So pretend this is 11. I know I didn't line up my digits correctly, but let's just say. Okay, so now it's 11. So 9 plus 11 definitely is not 10. It's 20. So with when it comes to that, when it come when you come to an answer like uh, it can it doesn't always have to also have zero in the ones place. It can have something like 18 or 15. You always add your ones digit in this uh, spot. Like you always add your ones digit in that column so if it's the ones column you add your ones digit in the ones column if it's the tens column you add your ones digit in the tens column and it keeps on going like that understand so uh, let's continue with our problem so we were at nine plus one okay so nine plus one is ten yeah so we add our one up here now like triple digit addition, you add your top number and your uh, carry forward number. Carry forward number and top number. So one plus zero is obviously zero. And zero, I mean, I mean one, one plus six is seven. So we add our seven here. And now we're done with the hundreds column. Now we move on to the next column, the thousands column, okay? That's what makes it four digit. So in the thousands column, it's pretty simple. And it's going to keep on going like this until um, nine. Nine or eight or like ten. Any number you go to in an addition, it's always going to be the same thing. Add up your column. Start at the ones column. Add it up. Add your ones number. Add one, the ones number of your answer. And then add your carry forward number onto the next column. You keep on going like that. And trust me, you'll get pure success. Anyway, so now we're going on to our third question. I mean, our thousands place. One plus three. Four. So that's basically it for addition. Now, this is like one of the quickest ways you have. If you want to learn some other strategies... Uh, I have some other videos that I'm going to upload soon that can teach you some other strategies. If this strategy seemed a little confusing or hard, uh, I'll give you some other strategies in my other videos. So thank you guys. I hope you learned something today. And uh, leave some comments in the comment section if you have any questions or anything. If you if you guys think I could improve on anything also. Like uh, if you guys had some trouble understanding something. I'll try my best and teach you guys something next time. And trust me, you'll get pure math success soon. So thank you guys. And please subscribe to my channel to learn more math mathematics. So bye guys.